Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take this 27 inch iMac 2015. This one's got 32 gig of RAM and a 4 gig i7. We're going to upgrade the operating system onto this beyond that that Apple will allow us to do. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the browser and type in OCLP. I'm going to open Core Legacy Patcher, get started, download. Download the releases and we're going to download 15. That's the latest one as of today, 9th, 9th of June. We're going to download the zip, which should just take a few moments. Okay then, so that's done. I'm going to close the browser and go to downloads and just unzip that. I'm going to run that, close it, just wait for it to do its bouncing routine. It's going to ask if we want to open it anyhow, we're going to say yes. I'm going to put the password in. Okay, what we're going to do now, this is open, is create a Mac OS installer. You can download, we're going to use an existing one, which we've got Ventura 13.62. Now we're going to go with Ventura on this computer because there's no major updates anymore because it's last year's operating system. And the problem I found with, um, with running Sonoma is that when they updated, it breaks the computer and it's been a bit of a nuisance. So whilst I've got some other computers with Sonoma on, I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm going to go to Ventura. It should, it's got all the security updates on it. So off we go. Going to use that drive there. And now what it's going to do is it's going to write the drive. It has created the installer. It's checked the integrity of it. Now it wants to know if you would like to install OpenCore to the disk. And the answer is yes. I'm going to go that disk there, that EFI. Would you like to reboot? The answer to that is yes. We're going to leave the disk in the drive. And um, as soon as the computer starts to reload in a second, we're going to press the Alt key on the keyboard and that will um, bring up the boot picker. Now we're going to go with EFI boot. There's the original system drive, which has got no patching on it at the moment because this was running natively. Off we go. Now we want to install Ventura. Okay, so because I want to do a totally clean install, I'm going to go into Disk Utility. I'm going to go View, Show All Disks. My 512 gig drive I've got here, I'm going to erase that. Call it system. Any rays. It is possible just to patch the um, the EFI on your existing drive and upgrade, but I prefer to do a clean install. Okay, that's done. So we're now going to close that. We're going to go install, install OS Ventura and continue. Agree. We're going to put that on that 500 gig drive. Continue. 
Now that's going to now take a period of time to install. It's going to restart um, and then ask us to log in, etc. So I will just fast forward all of this. Okay, so now we're at the point where it wants us to put our country or region in. Um, we're in the United Kingdom. British, English, British, yeah. Not worried about that. Put it online. Not going to transfer anything. I'm going to sign into iCloud later. Put some account details in. So at the moment, the patching is running off the USB stick to, um, to log it in. Uh, if I was to just restart this without the USB stick in, the machine wouldn't boot. You can set these however you want, obviously. Okay, so there we are. We are now loaded in. We've got Ventura around the machine. Obviously, we now need to patch the drive. It will automatically come up and ask you and say, ah, we've detected you're running it from an external drive. Would you like to in launch the installer? We're going to install that to disk. We're going to go to the 512 gig, go to the EFI. Now this version of OCLP asks far less questions than the uh, older versions. Now because this uh, version 15 will actually allow me to boot to Sonoma, it will ask me if I want to upgrade, I don't. So I'm now going to reboot and restart. Whilst the machine's off, I'm going to remove the USB stick and now it will natively boot. The first boot is always a little sluggish for some reason, um, but once it's done its first load, it's then a lot quicker to load, which I'll show you shortly. There we go, this is doing its first native boot using the EFI of the internal drive. <sighs> yeah. Wait for the keyboard to connect. And there we are, we're in. I'm going to do about this Mac. Now what I'm going to show you now is the speed that it restarts at um, now that it's done its initial boot because obviously it sat there with a black screen for quite a period of time when it did the restart. So there's your time. You don't need to touch anything at this stage. Don't press the keyboard or anything and off it'll go. And this now is real time loading. Log in. Uh, 
And there we are, there's our desktop. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit subscribe, the bell and the other icons. Thank you.